She left her glasses at the bar A film debut in Dubai far away Is what she read to all the crowd A halter top made from a shirt Tied up her titties while she flirted With all the men and women very loud Her spandex pants looked kinda smelly And they were pulled up past her belly Which made her seem a she let her ass Getting married soon in Maui or so she told the people loudly She moved champagne and tweaked on her breast We tried pretending not to see her very vibe Said look at me while fussing with her hairdo all the time This made her raise her elbows up and pushed her breasts and belly out While proclaiming it hot in the sunshine I muttered observations near another woman chance to hear and replied life's a fascinating thing I of course was mortified I couldn't look her in the eye and pretended I hadn't said a thing Seated at the restaurant table I was hoping we'd be able to enjoy our meal without her near but sure enough, within she came and she began her same refrain of constant aggrandizing even here. We wondered what her story was and we're reporting this because it seems so urban and really absurd in that big city way. Or was she just a working girl hustling her friends until she drank champagne because she got up and she simply walked away. The people at the table then began to chatter about their friend it seemed that they were glad that she had left and gone astray We didn't know she had moved on down the street to the salon Where we had planned to go next for an appointment anyway At the salon there was some more We found our friend had locked the door If crazy lady returned was her fear She had come requesting these Whose cost it seemed so far exceeds What normal customers spend in a year at half her size, our tiny friend was concerned if she could defend herself if crazy girl flew in a rage. She said she called to get her out, she also knew she was about as crazy as a cuckoo on a stage. A guy pulled up soon in a car, she pulled the back seat door ajar and hopped in and departed then and there. Was he a John or just someone who knew her and had finally come to take her to a rendezvous somewhere? We'll never know the answers here, but I'll tell you a secret fear that she will hear this and declare to me That she's not crazy, but she's mad at all the accusations I have illustrated for your reverie you're not mad, I'm sorry dear, but you acted so odd and queer You dress so shabbily and shamelessly I can't forget the letter S or how you must have looked undressed Cause you were showing off for all to see We wondered what her story was and we're reporting this Because it seems so urban and really quite absurd in that city way Or was she just a working girl hustling her friends and she got a few drinks because she got up and simply walked away The people at the table then began to chatter about their friend It seemed to us that they were glad that she had left and gone astray We didn't know she had moved on down the street to the salon Where we had planned to go next for an appointment anyway We talked about her all night long, we told the tale and wrote a song You might think this a figment of my mind but there's a feeling deep inside It's part of me that knows the jive Of crazy urban women of her kind Someone who will flaunt and strut A little clothing on her butt And flash what God has bestowed for mankind And play the social innocent And say that's just not what I meant Just like the ones that Peter Mao defined I know that I may sound a prude, but I like women especially new But skanky is as skanky does I feel So have a laugh and be aware that there's a sense of humor here Even though the tale I've told is real So there's a picture in my mind, I hope I've left a bit behind A tune that you can join along and sing that you may soon apply when a live cartoon passes by and you'll know life's a fascinating thing.